Our next guest has a unique sound that's heating up social media. That's right, and after working with legends like Mary J. Blige and Patti LaBelle, he's now stepping out on his own with his freshman album, War of Hearts. Russell Taylor, welcome to 360. Oh, right. thank you. Hi, Russell. Hey. You're so grown up now. I know, We right? go way back. It's the beard. It's the beard. It's the beard. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Lola. I'm proud of you, too, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank and congratulations you. on your new single and your album that are both called War of Hearts. Yes. Tell us what inspired this song. Well, this song actually came from Scandal. The I knew it. The, the tumultuous <laughs> relationship between uh, Olivia Pope and Fitz is just, you know, it's culpable. So I had to put it in a song. Really? Yeah. So are you a Scandal fan? I am. Every, every <laughs> week, religiously. Right. Yeah. Really? What did you think of last week's episode? <sighs> Crazy. Right. It's only gonna right. get better. The mama. <laughs> I the, can't wait till I can't wait to see you tell the mom. The uh, mama. I know. It's crazy. See, All excited. right. So the album deals with love and loss. And how long have you been working on this? Um, I've been off and writing for about a year. Mm -hmm. um, and. It took, it took about six months for us to get the single working and get it all set up, et cetera, um, but about a year. So a year writing and then a year to get the song in the pipeline and then the video and it's just kind of taken off since then. And now, the video has blown up. How many hits did you say on Vivo? Well, I have my personal channel. Um, mm -hmm. That's 43,000. And then Vivo has only been for about two weeks and that's already at 42,000. My so, goodness. Yeah. And you, as Lola mentioned, you have a unique sound. How would you describe your sound? Uh, it's kind of like a pot of gumbo. So <laughs> like, it's like, you know, okay. you just throw a lot of things. So you have kind of like this kind of pop soulful sound of Adele and then like the real soul, Southern soul of Al Green. Mm -hmm. And then the big 80 emo of the 80s, like Farner and so okay. forth. So mm. that's, that's me. That's you. Oh, that's, that's me. You. That's you. What did you grow up listening to? <laughs> oh, everything. Like Donny Hathaway, uh, uh, Crosby, Seals and Nash, mm. uh, gospel. Like my parents in the house, uh, Roberta Flack, in our house Saturday, very much. I'm very much the African American family. And but like, you clean and listen clean to music. Clean on Saturday, you listen to music. <laughs> exactly. And, exactly. Watch Soul Train. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So you were just named VH1's You Oughta Know artist? Yeah, yeah. I was I was a first crowdsourced uh, artist uh, for You Oughta Know. My fans, Soldiers, wow. uh, tagline S-O-U-L-J-E-R-S, -E they uh -huh. put me uh, in this slot, so. That's incredible, wow. congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very That's much. That's a big deal. Thank yeah, you. other people like Adele, Bruno Mars, Mumford & Sons have all received this honor. How yeah. does it make you feel? Does it add more pressure to your new album? Not not pressure, it actually it actually gives me a platform that I've been working for, and I'm, I'm very honored, and I am working to rise to the occasion, mm. so. And you also won the John Lennon Songwriting Prize? Yeah, that was some time ago, but it was, it was all of these kind of stops like have helped me stay on my journey and not give up. And so, so what's your writing process? Um, it depends, like for War of Hearts, this first single, uh, I went into the studio with the guy, Tim Kavisnowski, Friends Forever, <laughs> and uh, we started talking about Scandal, and then all of a sudden the song was born. Like it was a first guitar lick, and then the song was born. So sometimes I think of a concept and I go in the studio and write it. Sometimes it's the song, sometimes the music, like it, it varies. Mm -hmm. so. Well, take us back. You talk about, you know, being around the house, watching Soul Train, different things like that. But how did you originally get into the music business? And did you have a big break? Well, <clears throat> it's this funny thing, entertainment. Yes, uh, it's very funny. You, <laughs> you go six steps forward, five steps back, five mm -hmm. and a half steps back. Right. So I knew that I had a chance. I, well, I knew that this was something that I could do and people would be interested in paying attention mm -hmm. when I was in undergrad. And then it was like a whole bunch of like pop-ups. So then it was the John Lennon thing and I had some interest from a record label and things started moving forward with that and then it was a setback and then it was my first show in Paris which was like, okay, God, I hear you. This is what I'm supposed to do. So there's been a lot of like jockeying back and forth. There, mm. was, one, there was no one thing aside from saying, look, I think I could do this. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. But since then, you've shared the stage with everyone like Mary J. Blige, Jill Scott, Indy Irie. I mean, the list goes on. You've been very blessed and those steps forward. Yes, <laughs> yes. What were those experiences like and did any of them help set you up for stepping out on your own? I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are quiet and pay attention, um, you learn 
you learn. And w just being backstage and watching how they prepare for their shows, meeting the different musicians, um, Layla Hathaway, Lettucey, Estelle, so many of these are, uh, uh, Eric Roberson, so many of these artists have become mentors to me mm -hmm. and kind of helped me avoid any more pitfalls. Mm -hmm. And I am very, very lucky. Very mm -hmm. travel of the world performing, very lucky. Who's the biggest diva? You know, I don't have any diva friends. Oh, come on. Oh, I There's promise you. One. I, pro I <laughs> promise you. I don't have, I don't have any diva friends. Oh. I, pro I mean, none, none that I'm close to. Okay, oh, then who was the I most know, fun sorry. to work with? How about that? <laughs> most have, fun? Yeah. My, I don't have a favorite. I was about to of say Of course my not. Yeah, you were. Um, <laughs> come I'll on. tell you, the one, the one that I have been closest with who has mentored me the most is Layla. Okay. Layla is, she has, she has a voice of a generation, you know, mm -hmm. she's just like her daddy and she's so down to earth and she's so open and loving and she, she has been a great mentor for mm -hmm. me, yeah. Okay. Well, you mentioned earlier about the back and forth with labels, but you're actually an independent artist. I am. Why did you choose to go that route opposed to a major record deal? Well, it, it wasn't necessarily a choice. It was like mm -hmm. at the point in the beginning, the label decided that it wasn't gonna work. So mm -hmm. I had two choices. Do I sit down and go and do something else or do I put the record out myself? Gotcha. And it just became of, well, I'm not gonna give up. So I put the record mm -hmm. out myself. Okay, so okay. before you go and sing, yeah. tell us where can we purchase the album? Uh, so War of Hearts, is available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, any network. Okay. Um, and it's Russell Taylor, baby. Russell right. Taylor, baby. <laughs> and you're going to be having some shows coming up here soon. Yeah, right? I have a show. Uh, first show for the new record is at BAM in Brooklyn mm -hmm. on nice. February 8th, 9 o'clock. Okay. So right. be there. I expect to see you. We guys. will yeah. be there. Yeah. February 8th. <laughs> we're going to write that down and we're going to let you go ahead and get set up. Cool. And we're going to remind the audience that coming to you once again to sing the single off his album, War of Hearts. Go ahead, you can go ahead and get, okay. <laughs> get ready over there. The single off his album, War of Hearts, is Russell Taylor. Give it up, Lola. Yeah, Woo! Russell! all control I'm better than one I love has me torn you fought for my heart you fought for my heart in this war I conceded I doubted you believed it you were all that I needed in this war of hearts in this war I conceded I doubted you believed it you were all that I needed in this war of Dust still in the wind, I can't see to the end. The path is unclear behind my veneer. A new line in the sand, another battle to win. If you don't let me go, I might hurt you again. In me and my eyes took me at hello. We still in disguise, we lost all control. I'm better than one, our love has me torn. You fought for my heart, you fought for my heart. In this war I conceded, I doubted you believed it. You were all that I needed in this war of hearts. In this war I conceded, I doubted you believed it. You were all that I needed in this war of hearts. I was dark and you were the light that brought me back back to life and it's because you love me yeah yeah I was dark and you were the light back to life 
because you love me. Oh,